Hey guys, Syndrome 28 here, and welcome to another Game Tyrant gear review. Today we're reviewing some Roquette products. We're reviewing the Sova keyboard, slap, slash like lap keyboard, I don't know what they want to really call it, and the Kova mouse. So what this is, is it this whole setup is kind of built around you playing on your sofa and watching on your big screen TV, on your projector, you know, in your theater room. Um, so just more comfy, just sit back and you play. Has keyboard built into the lap pad. I guess I'll maybe start calling it the lap pad um, on the Silva. And then, you know, we got a uh, Rockat Kova mouse sold separately, they're both separate. But my main thing I wanna focus on is the lap pad, because this is like something that's completely new that I haven't seen on the market yet. Uh, I had previously built one of these on my own. So you guys are behind, you guys are like behind me. I'm like, I'm like two years ahead of you guys. All right, no, all right. So let's just look at the box real fast. I'm just gonna read on it. This is a first impression video. So we're just gonna, you know, just got the box. Nothing too fancy. Uh, on the front, you know, own the couch, you know, playing on the couch, own it. On the back here, we got like, you know, superior ergonomics, you know, because no one else really has one of these out. There might be some out there, but as far as a top of the line one, not really that I've seen. Um, so definitely superior ergonomics, high accuracy mouse pad. This thing is like, it's so smooth. <laughs> it's crazy. So if you like a hard surface mouse pad, um, you know, the stock, that this comes with is it's like it slides like it's crazy how it, that's that's like <laughs> me and Alex in the gaming center when we first unboxed this and we we're just like looking and we're like whoa look at this look how smooth it is <laughs> so it's kind of crazy um, but we'll get into some other features about that that if you don't like that that you can change it out um, there's a mouse bungee built onto it so it holds your mouse so you can adjust how far it holds onto it two USB ports right here. There's this one USB goes out really long. It's like 14 feet, 14 and a half feet. Um, goes all the way out, way over across the room and plugs in two USB ports. So if you want to use the additional two ports on here, you have to plug, plug in both of them and then you can plug in a mouse. And if you have a USB headset, plug in your USB headset right here. So all you gotta do if you want to get up and walk around, you're just moving this around. And so that's cool superior ergonomics, right? Uh, back click keyboard that you can change colors, RGB on six different brightness levels. The one thing, so after this video, we're, all, we're gonna release another video on this product, but it's because of this one statement that they, they are claiming. Indestructible build. Indestructible. I say challenge. You guys hear challenge? I hear challenge. So there will be another video of us testing out, make sure that this thing is indestructible. Uh, replaceable components. So that's what I was talking about, you know, and further, I'll talk about here in a set, second about the replaceable components too. Uh, the Swarm app, the docking rail, which is right here for the, you move it. And there's, I'm, I'm assuming there's other, you can get like different clamps too. I'm assuming that you probably buy and put on there because now it says docking rail. And you can put your phone on it. I've seen on here they have like a thing where someone has their phone on it. So, silent and precise typing. Okay. One thing that this thing does leave out is mechanical keyboard. It is not a mechanical keyboard. It is a plunger keyboard. You can remove the keys, but it's not mechanical. That was a disappointment. Very, very disappointing for me to see that. Um, and then the price point on this is $199.99 on Newegg right now at this moment, July 24th, 2016. $199.99 is the price point on this, on Newegg. Okay, enough on that stuff. So let's just look at the keyboard itself. So the keys on it, that's why when I just said a second ago that I was kind of like, it's not mechanical because when I very first pulled it out of the box, the look of the keys and everything shouted out mechanical keyboard. And then like when it kind of just brushed across it, 
mechanical keyboard kind of feel. But then when you actually go to press the key, let me make sure I'm on a notepad over here. When you press the key, all the feel, I'm like, okay, well, it's maybe a linear key. And then when I get to the bottom, squish. Oh. Why? So, non mechanical keyboard, but the precision of a keyboard that you need when you're sitting so far away from a monitor isn't that, you don't, like, I'm assuming you don't need it to accurate, but I'll go back to that $199.99 price point. I don't, they could, well, why? Maybe they couldn't, maybe, like, I don't know, like, the whole, how much other, you know, maybe this plastic was really expensive. The whole top is completely plastic, everything's plastic. On the bottom, there's some stuff that I'll be showing up in the closer part here in a second, we'll get closer on it but not mechanical. Like, I, that's a huge disappointment. I don't see, like, why is it 199 when there's no mechanical keyboard in it? So, but maybe, maybe it just costs that much to make, I'm not sure. Uh, so that was a disappointment. So as far as the interchangeable uh, components, on the bottom here, these little lap pads come off and you can change those out. So when you get it out, it's the bottom ones actually. Yeah. And they can push through and they can take this pad off. So it comes with this plastic one that like I said, super smooth when you're moving the mouse across it, like exceptionally smooth. So if you're used to like a cloth, you may want to like, it's big enough that you can still put a cloth pad on there. Um, but I'm assuming that these you'll be able to buy in different textures for different applications. You know, I like playing on cloth. I like the drag. Um, I've always used it, so I would definitely go with it right there. And then the the hand, the, the wrist rest. <clears throat> it says it's indestructible, so I can do that, guys. As well comes out. And I'm assuming, you know, you can get this with a, a soft pad on it. Going back again to the $199.99 price point, uh, it does not come with these. Like, where's the value? You're gonna hear me say that so many times in this in this review. Is that where is the value? Okay. Maybe if it came with, you know, the soft part on this and a cloth version of the mouse pad, that would build that that would show me a little more value in this piece of equipment. But where is the value? Put it back together. Uh, are these like all the same? We may be continuing without these on. Got it, I think. So, but these are ex exceptionally soft. Fabric and soft. Kind of grippy so it'll sit on your lap nice so a little bit of value right there guys i like that you know that is nice four of them so not just like two small ones four of them so all plastic cloth all right got that back together so you guys want to see a little bit of close-up of the keyboard? I'm going to zoom that in. I'll be right back. All right, so here's more of a close-up of the mouse. It's really hard to see the illuminous of the keyboard itself, but it does have six different brightness levels. Um, I'll be showing that here in a moment. We'll do a little bit of B-roll and to show you like you know how well it glows. It is really bright, so don't be misled on that. You know we got lighting in here, so uh, but it's pretty much close-up of it. The, the key layout, you know, like when you have like laptops and stuff, you got to get used to the key layout. And with most new keyboards, you have to get used to that, the key layout because where like the delete is and like num lock and then the arrows and stuff, they're in a, a weird position. Um, but this is something that you would get used to uh, over time. And I said, the keys, they do feel nice when you press them. Like I was. I was pretty confident that it was mechanical until I got all the way down to the bottom and I bottomed out 
and I realized it. But great build. You know, it is plastic, but are you really going to be throwing this thing? We will be throwing it, yes, because it said indestructible build, and we're going to put it to the test. Probably going to run it over as well. So, like that, back, soft. Sorry, guys. Well, as far as the, the, the lap pad, I'm calling it, the Sova mouse pads, that was my like first impressions of it. Um, it the, the, the price point of it, guys. That's the only thing. $199.99 for this, not mechanical, RGB lighting. So many keyboards out there for under $30 come with RGB lighting. And a complete plastic construction of the lap pad. Granted, like it keeps it light, so when it's sitting on you, it doesn't get heavy. But I, I don't see the value in this. I do see, I, I like it. I would use it for playing a lot of, you know, like World of Warcraft. I would love this. I'd be sitting on my eight foot bean bag and just sitting there playing. And it would, it, it, would, it would work. It'd be efficient for what it's meant for. But at $199.99, guys, I don't see the value. And so as far as my, my, I'm gonna give it a one to 10 rating on this. I give it a five. And almost all of that five being taken off is because of the price point. Like I, I cannot give it a higher rating than that. I'm sorry, I just can't. So guys, if you do have very deep pockets, you wanna sit on your couch, you wanna be comfortable playing on your couch, typing on a nice keyboard, that is similar to your mechanical keyboard. So when you do go back to your desktop and play, you'll have the same feel as far as when you're typing, but when you get over to some of the media keys, that's gonna be completely different. But where the actual keys are, you know, just your regular typing and playing, they're gonna, it's gonna feel really close to the mechanical keyboard. So you're not gonna be thrown off that much as far as your performance. Um, so that was this quick portion on that, so let's just talk a little bit today. Also, we have the mouse in here too, the Kova mouse. It is a left and right hand mouse. It has keys on the front parts right here. I'll have to do a close up here in a second of it to show you, but right here and here. And on both sides, there's you know, the two forward and back typical keys. There's a key here. The lighting um, is RGB, but it's if you have it set up to do like a, like a rainbow, it's not a, it, it it's like one color, next color, next color, next color. It doesn't go across the rainbow. Um, so I was pretty disappointed in that. I'm not sure why, it could probably just be software. So maybe it's not just the lighting, they could probably maybe update that in the software. So I won't you know, hit them too hard on that. The feel of it is really nice. Um, you know, When it comes to like mice, it's really hard like, you're like, oh man, it feels really weird. Like it does, it feels weird to me. But if I played on it for a night, it would, I would get used to it. I like the buttons. You can program all of them to be whatever you want. You know, it doesn't, you know, these two buttons don't have to be the same and the buttons on the side don't have to be the same. You can actually use this to have three buttons on either side that you're clicking away, doing, you know, different abilities and stuff like that. So really like the mouse. I did not get the price of this, but I will show it up here in the corner, right there on Newegg. So, but really light. I like the mouse. I really like this mouse and this full combo setup that we have going here from, from Rockette. So I'm going to give this mouse an 8 out of 10 on its rating. It's comfortable, it's ergonomic, all the keys on it are very easily and identifiable without looking at your mouse and then look back at your screen to click them and being able to program them all separately was a really nice touch. So guys, that's the mouse in this, the Koba Rockette mouse. and the Silva lap pad I'm calling it. So lap pad got a five out of 10, mainly just because the price point demolished that score. And then eight out of 10 for the mouse. So thanks guys for tuning in for this Game Tyrant gear review. I am Syndrome 208, I'm tuning out. Stay tuned, make sure you hit the like button if you liked it, dislike it. If you disliked it, be honest and tell me in the description maybe why and we can improve that if you have any future requests on equipment that you would like us to get in and review definitely put that down in the description and subscribe and get notified when we upload a new video peace guys